Tempo giusto refers to playing in the right speed, going at one's inner tempo, and thereby playing in exact or just time. Try not to speed up and slow down too much in this movement. Enjoy the shape of the large intervals, not adding too many ornaments to this beautiful courant. When trilling from a D to C sharp in measure nine on the modern flute, try using a left hand trill of the thumb and third and fourth fingers instead of the first trill key. It will bring about a wooden open sound that is so beautiful and naturally pitched. I use this trill fingering also in box sonatas and other Baroque pieces where it is possible. In the presto, the downbeats are of particular importance. They should receive more weight than the pickups. This helps show the motion and modulations of the phrasing. Use alternating long notes with short notes in measures 24 and 25 to show the importance of the descending scale alternating with the pedal tone of E. The downbeat of measure 59 is a clear indication that measure 58 has to be important and a bit slower. From here, the rest of the movement drives towards its conclusion, so bring out the intervals that clearly show the F-sharp minor melodic line. The final movement, a menuet, has a strong downbeat followed by two weaker beats, and then a false downbeat followed again by two weaker beats. When conducting a minuet, the French dance masters would bring their arm down on the good measure or the first measure and up on the downbeat of the next measure or the false measure. You will see a clear eight measure phrase in two four measure sections. Please remember the differences in the downbeats. They are particularly strong if they occur on a strong harmonic beat in the resident key. Remember the resident key always rules.